All right then, back in. So what we have here is a solar integrated hunting camera. Basically a trail camera. Cam Park. Cam Park T150 to be precise. Films in 2.7K. So you get the instruction manual. You get the actual camera unit itself. We'll look at that in a minute. Um, USB charger. This is the strap for tying it around the tree. Or the pole or whatever. And this is a mount for a camera goes on there like that. If you want to put a permanent fixture on a wall, tree, whatever. It's got plugs and screws. So that's a permanent mount. So this camera here has got infrared the sensors there, that's the camera lens. This is your um, PIR, which uh, what sets it off. The sensor that sets it off. It's got a solar panel on the top, which also acts as a rain shield, like a roof. Keeps the rain off the lens, apparently. And these are the where the straps go through. That's where you mount it. it has a microphone on the bottom. It's, it's a nice feeling. It feels nice. Oh, you can put a padlock there if you want to lock it. Just there, uh, you can put a little padlock through there if you want to do that. Inside, you've got there's a little speaker there. That's where you put your micro SD USB charger there. So, what it's got is internal, internal battery which is rechargeable via the solar panel and the USB if you want to rapid charge it but you've got standby batteries now these the claim you should never need you don't need batteries to work it they're just there purely as a standby so for example if you leave it out for two days and it goes pitch dark and there's no solar power getting in then your batteries will kick in on off on set up in the middle and the setup is all on this menu here. See, that's the internal battery, 95%. And this battery here is your, that's your backup batteries there. So to get into this menu here, press this button twice, top one twice, and then you've got all the, the list here of what's what. Take an absolute record. Infrared, auto, all personalized settings. To go across into the next menu there, the image size, 24 megapixel photos it takes, which is very high definition, isn't it? You can change the shutter speed, you can change the amount of photographs it takes. If some of the walks past it takes a series of photographs. This is set five, as well as the video. So you've got the photos to look at. Resolution 2K, you can change that. Video length 15 seconds and record the audio that's on or any sounds it will pick up. And then this is just the settings, and they just go across here like that if you want. See that along the top it changes. So the settings is there. Language English got loads of languages. Default setting you can change it back to the way it was. Format the SD card already done that. Date and time set. AA battery. This is the batteries inside. 100% ready to go. That's the ones that you should never use, but they're always there. Uh, right. And that's it, that's the menu and the setup. So, to get it all, once you've set it all up like that, I'll turn it off for now. Once you've set it all up in that menu there, you switch it on, you close it. Obviously, it's hanging from a tree at this point, and you walk away from it. And that should start firing. Anything comes near it, it'll go off. So we're going to take it to some trees, and we're going to look at that and see how that works. But for now, that's just the first look at what's in the box. Cam Park. Just feels quality. 
The trigger sensor on it is 0 0.1 of a second, which is one of the fastest ones out there. So you shouldn't miss anything. So what we're going to do here is we're going to try and connect the camera to the phone by the to the app via Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. So this is the uh, the app you need, Game Camera Pro. There's two. So if the other one doesn't work, this one works because I downloaded the other one first. I had a picture of a deer on it, but it was a bit different picture. I downloaded that one first, and um, the camera wouldn't work with that. So I went back into the app store, and that was there. So I tried that, and this one works. So just make a mental note of that. So what you do is you go into the app. All right, it should open. There we go. Turn this on to setup mode in the middle. The middle one. All right. You gotta bear with this here. It worked, but I might have forgot what to do. Right. So you turn on the Bluetooth. It finds that straight away, but it's scanning. It finds camera A eleven C B zero. All right. So connect via Bluetooth. Right. Turn on Wi-Fi. Right. So you get to this stage here. You have to go out of it. Go into your settings. Wi-Fi. And then it will find the camera, hopefully. Give it a chance. <laughs> Turn on the Wi Fi, that's what I'm trying to do. This is a little bit awkward right there, it's found it, look. So, Cam Park T150. Right, it connects. There we go, it's on. Right, no internet connection, that doesn't matter, That's, it's, the camera itself is a Wi-Fi hotspot, it's connected on there as well. Right, so, press the yeah, plus, there you are, it's on. I'll just point it at the wall. That's what this camera's seeing there now, look. So there you are, you're on the Wi-Fi. So what you've got in the Wi-Fi, um, you've got the gallery, tap the deer to get into the gallery. This is what you've um, recorded. You can see that's just taking a burst of five photographs there when I activated. That's why I had the camera set on. It won't have taken any video because I haven't got it. Um, I haven't got it on video. That's the video there. I didn't have time to take video, right? So that's that. All your settings are there. So you can adjust your settings there. Image size, 24, five photos, 2k record time valid right i might put that on 30 seconds actually a little bit longer video and you won't have as many clips but you'll have longer videos to edit all right so that's that um sensitivity high infra led infrared automatic time lapse you can do time lapses as well if you want it set it the same as your camera time mode that's just the time 24 hour and that uh, Wi-Fi goes off after three minutes. Um, that's it, really. There's your memory, free memory, 59 gig. So that's it. That's how you connect it to your phone on the app. So not working all right. Now, as you disconnect, it just turns itself off, and then you just click it off. But when you want it, when you want to set it up and take it into the trees, you click it on. on. You don't always have to connect it to your phone, it's just if you want to download the videos and photographs. So I'm going to take this out, hang it from a tree, and come back and see what we'll get. We'll <laughs> probably just, I don't know what the wildlife's right, right around here, we'll find out. You don't know do you? You never see the wildlife. I think that's the whole point of a trail camera really. Looks like a... Um, Cycle or cross with this helmet and the visor. Anyway, right, so I'm back in the local woods now. We're gonna have to place the camera quite low down, I think, this time because we're not expecting to see um, deers or anything big 
like werewolves and that, but like little animals, mammals, like badgers, foxes. Pretty sure there's foxes run through here. There might be the odd bird lands in the in the branches. Doubt it though, but thick these branches. Plenty of birds up there, but I cannot reach up there. So I'm gonna have a, a look around here. Uh, <laughs> found a tan peg. Hey. Leave no trace. Look at this. That's a magnificent specimen. Anyway, I'm not here to look at mushrooms. We're here to try, tie this camera to a tree and we'll point it up that way. So I've chosen the spot. That's it. So what we're seeing is we'll get that perspective all. So if anything's creeping around here. Um, I think it's got like a three, well, it's not 360, but it's a good wide angle lens on it. So we should see around here. Right, so what you do is, I've opened it up. All the settings are set, remember? So everything is a-okay, 90% battery. So that's it, so we'll switch it to on. On. Screen goes blank, four, three, two, one, zero, goes blank. That's now. Active. So nothing happens until something walks past it. That's probably just taking five photographs of me there now. So the only thing to do now is Put your faith in God <laughs> and leave it. Hope that nobody comes and pinches it. I don't think anybody comes here this part. Right, so we'll just leave that running. Take a few more photos. That's it. So I'm back to the woods where I left the camera. I came last night when it was dark and all the trees basically look the same. I'll put it in here. So top tip is if you put your camera in, find a little, uh, something to mark a path by. See, that's the only boulder. So we dipped in here. So we're gonna go in. We're gonna retrieve the camera come back because this is hard getting in so that's what the camera was looking at over there I was thinking maybe some sort of creatures birds might come down here or deer might wander through I don't know I will not know there it is stuck at the tree nice and camouflaged about head right above head height you can put it in height like really That's it. So we'll get that off and we'll go and see what we've got. Might just be footage of me wandering about, but you get the general idea. Right, so that just uh, leaves now to show how to transfer the files from there to your phone. So what you can do is, you switch it on. Switch it 
switch it on to telephone. And then you go to the Game Camera Pro. Don't know if the uh, lights in the way here. Right, so make sure the camera's close. Your Bluetooth's got to be on, and your Wi-Fi has to be on. Even if you're on your network, you can change that. Right, so turn on the Bluetooth. It sits and it scans for ten seconds, even though the camera's there. That's the one you're looking for here. It's just scanning it. Right, so you tap that. Turn on the Wi-Fi. Right, so tap that. Turn on Wi-Fi. And that comes on and then you have to go to your settings Wi-Fi and it finds it on there connected via that Wi-Fi connected wait until your phone tells you that's it it's on right and then you top that big tick right so you just go into the little gear Right, this is on the device, this is the camera, these are all the photos, the stills. I mean, I didn't get any footage, all I've got is me triggering it. <laughs> so when you just tap it and download, download the photograph, and it goes on to the local. So, go back out of it, back into the deer. Toggle across to the video camera. Right, and uh, we'll pick this one. I've already, I've already downloaded this. So you get that. You download it. It saves onto the device. Oh, sorry, uh, sorry. You go at the device here is what you have filmed. That's right. And then you download that. I've downloaded all these, so it's not going to work again. So you tap it, download it, and it will give you up to one to a hundred percent. And then it'll be in your local library. So that's the that's the footage of me triggering it. You come down here, and you just send it to your you send it anywhere you want. Copy it, save the video, all the options that you get, and that's it. That's how you save the files. So, would I recommend it? Definitely, if you're into that sort of thing. One day I will get some footage. But the wildlife in this country is very shy. And the weather's not great at the minute. It's coming to winter, isn't it? So I'm not seeing as much wildlife as we would in the summer. But hopefully I can get some footage and I'll put it in some of the videos. I'll be using it in the, a few of my trips. One day I'll catch something. But as you can see, the way I triggered it, it does work. It does... Um, trigger and yeah the quality is good so follow the links see if you can get one if you're up to that there's a 4k version of this as well but I'm rendering these files um, in 4k there's 2.7k filming but they are saving as 4k on the um, laptop so you know you can crack on like that right